I'm Leanne Lester, I'm the organizer of Art Palm Beach. Yes, it was a very special year that we were celebrating our 15th anniversary. You know, David and I founded the fair 15 years ago in a small tent on Flagler Avenue. We're very happy to see it grow over the years. We attracted over 28,000 collectors from over 40 states and 15 countries this year. We had dealers from many countries, including uh, Shanghai and Cairo, Egypt, uh, as well as up dealers throughout Europe and South America. We had a, a fabulous artist come from um, uh, Cobra, came from Brazil, one of the most famous artists in Brazil. And for a week prior to the fair, um, we did a fabulous project for us at the entrance of the fair. And this was done by Jonah, uh, who's actually just completed it uh, here at the end of the fair. And actually several museums now are interested in collecting this piece and putting it in their permanent collection. My name is Cynthia Corbett, and I'm the director of the Cynthia Corbett Gallery. I'm a gallerist and a curator. I'm based in London, England. My gallery was formed in 2004, and um, it's a pr actually a private home gallery in a converted convent in the middle of a beautiful community called Wimbledon. And I'm a gallerist and a curator. So I do a lot of projects, um, both in the home gallery in Wimbledon and actually all over London, uh, including Mayfair, the East End, the West End, and then all over the world I, mean, I also curate. The art that you're seeing around you is an installation that the artist did, especially for Art Palm Beach, uh, and it's called Hypochondria. And these are 150 pieces of art which is of which is actually on petri dishes these are real petri dishes so the artist has is has gone under a microscope is really looking at what happens under a microscope and then with her imagination and the use of this pure pigments and this special um, liquid plastic which she paints with she's created these incredible works of art I'm Stephen Knapp and I'm a light artist. I live and work in Massachusetts and exhibit all over the country. I think the main thing is to, to um, let people know that what I'm really working in is it's all about perception. I mean, I, I didn't show this work early on. I could have shown it 10 years earlier, but I spent close to a decade developing and refining it so I could actually paint with light. And I'm playing with space and perspective, but I'm also playing with illusion. And I'm, I'm really trying to do what I think will be the new direction for sculpture and painting in the future. I think light is going to be the future as, as a major art medium. My name is Judith Hughes Day and I specialize in Vietnamese contemporary fine art and I'm headquartered in New York City. Vietnamese art has been shown in the United States for probably the last 15 years or so but it still is very new compared to contemporary Chinese art in the eyes of American art lovers so I felt it's important for those of us that show Vietnamese art to do it in as many ways as possible. I currently work with about 20 artists, and many of them I have worked with since I first became aware of Vietnamese art. One of, one of the artists paints with ink on paper landscapes, and that's all she does. It's a very traditional medium, but what she does with it is very contemporary. I select my artists basically because I like their work. It's my taste and I think every art dealer does this. They choose what they think is wonderful and I do the same. My 
art gallery is a contemporary art gallery. We are in London and in Miami. We've been working for the last 10 years on contemporary artists, on secondary art, such as Warhol, Kate Herring, Roy Lichtenstein. And lately we've been having several programs on artists such as Max Wiedemann, Cobra, Desire Obtain Cherish. This artist behind me is Miguel Correa. He's from Switzerland and he has been working on photography and this particular is a subject done with an astronaut and uh, the Louvre. So you have a contrast between where we're going today with the direction of future and where we come from and you know the elegance of the past and all the important of the past. My name is Maximilian Wiedemann. I'm a contemporary artist. In terms of like, the content, it's, uh, it's a juxtaposition of the, the, the money that influences the love and the love that influences money. And I play with that juxtaposition. I have the luxury elements uh, that come into play, credit cards, Rolexes, yachts, uh, everything that actually the society is actually uh, sees as the golden treasure. And I see just what kind of tendencies start today and, and uh, you know how far we've become uh, blended or, or, or driven by these things. My name is Eduardo Cobra. I am an artist from street art coming from Brazil. Uh, eu comecei aos 12 anos de idade num bairro pobre de São Paulo, da periferia de São Paulo e comecei com envolvimento com a cultura hip hop. Eu fazia parte de um grupo de break e, e comecei assim a, a imitar os desenhos que faziam no metrô e nos trens de Nova York. Comecei a fazer isso em São Paulo na década de 80. E depois de, algum, de alguns anos, eu comecei a desenvolver um trabalho próprio com características mais pessoais. Eu comecei é, especificamente com pichação e grafite. Eu utilizo vários equipamentos, vários tipos de, de técnicas diferentes, vários materiais. Depende do tipo de superfície, do tamanho, etc e tal. No caso do mural de, feito aqui, nós utilizamos mais tintas em spray com muitas cores, coisas do tipo. 